Whatever is, whatever is going on in the council, corruption, for that person who is capable, for that only I had given the vote. Whoever wins this seat, but uh, it's need to be genuine, and uh, we expect a uh, uh, genuine, uh, let's say, that target to build this uh, Garo wheels uh, onto that, uh, uh, what we call it, Tibetanese of this. Uh, of our people of this tribal and then uh, we don't need any kind of uh, issues like before we see in the council but uh, we can see that since uh, so many years it's been that without pay uh, but uh, yes we want the uh, national district council uh, to be to be in a good way and then uh, how to say that uh, yes uh, uh, it's my personal opinion and then it's my personal view because uh, we select or we just cast our votes just to what just because we got some kind of ransom or yes just for 100 bucks or 500 it's, it's not uh, should not be like that but we should be selecting our leaders uh, uh, in that uh, way or uh, where should I mean uh, where we can see the goodness and then uh, where we can have some uh, betterness to our people. We're being joined by BJP candidate uh, Bernard Marak, who has just cast his vote here for the Garo Hills Autonomous District Council. Sir, uh, you know, you've already cast your vote. How are you feeling yeah. at the moment? Yeah, I feel very excited and very confident to win yeah, with all the support from the people. And this time, we are sure that people will be voting for change for a corruption-free governance in the District Council. Yes. Okay, and uh, we see that there's a massive turnout. What yes. do you have to say about that? Yeah, people are very serious about uh, this election this year because uh, last time, like every year, the, some miscreants, they create uh, trouble. And this time we have created a lot of awareness among the people that uh, we have to take uh, the voting to our district council very seriously. And people are actually participating in the district council election with, uh, with full uh, this one, uh, uh, this one, excitement. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir, and yeah. all the best. Yeah, thank you. So that was BJP candidate uh, for the Garo Hills Autonomous District Council who's just cast his vote. I'm here in one of the polling stations here at Chanmari and we can see there's a massive turnout for the Garo Hills Autonomous District Council. You can see BJP candidate Bernard Marak, he's greeting with the supporters. And we see that uh, not only young ones, but elderly people who have come out early morning since uh, before seven o'clock before the polling started we could see massive gathering here at one of this polling station and uh, elderly people who are waiting to cast their vote starting at seven o'clock we could see people had gathered here already starting at 5 30 people had started coming out and large numbers now remember that even in spite of the uh, bun that has been called by the uh, pressure groups like the Garo Students Union, FKJGP and several others yet it has not affected anyone as uh, the Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma had also urged people to come out in large numbers and to practice their franchise and to cast their vote and not 
to be uh, carried away by what the local pressure group uh, the pressure groups have asked so once again i'm in one of the polling stations as you can see right behind me large numbers have come out to cast their vote we can see people here are just waiting to ca to cast their vote it's early morning here at uh, in one of the constituencies here in tura where uh, people are waiting to cast their vote and you can see even female voters also have come out in large numbers so uh, the, today is the voting day for the garo hills autonomous district council and uh, people have uh, uh, waited for this and remember that the uh, term uh, of the garo hills autonomous district council ended last year uh, 2020 uh, uh, in the month of october but due to the covid 19 pandemic the elections could not be held and there was an uh, administrator's rule in the garo hills autonomous district council for six months and the term has ended for the administrator's rule hence the election was necessitated once again, we're here in Tura in one of the polling stations. This is Princess Rasha for eastmojo.com in Tura. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.